talking about the chemist class today, we're gonna get that mirror somehow. So, what's this? So it's a meat. Bell. So it's Bell do. What's this flipping Bell do? Oh my god. Oh my god, the dragon woke up. Oh no, it's gonna eat my face. <gasps> okay, it's walking. It's walking over there, but for what? There's a mattress there. And what's this wheel do? A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. So that feeds him meat. We can give some meat. Okay, you want to go over to that other meat now? Okay, he's gone back to sleep. See, there's, there's some meat over there, buddy. He's going over to the meat over there, but this time it's actually meat. Instead of just a mattress, okay? I just scored or something. This is crazy, but if I win the wheel, I think Stampy did it, so that's why I probably know this, but if I win the wheel down top of the meat, when it collects it, then, Oh my god, yes, it dropped me by the mirror. The mirror. Oh, it's glorious. The mirror is glorious. There's spikes all around it. It says that this guy's a king. He's gonna be a king in the future. Oh, oh god, the dragon lost. Oh crap! Imagine if we had to do that too loud. Oh crap! Oh crap! He's after us now. We have got a what? Oh crap! What? 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 Spikes. Oh no! No! Stop it with the with the spiky mattresses there. So you, you get the idea. Stop it. Oh crap! The thing's trying to scratch us. Move, move, move. Okay, move that direction. Oh, oh, oh! Second, second, so I just need to spawn Oh crap, oh crap, square! So He's right there! The chain is stopping him from meeting me! Oh my god, he made all the slack types and bench! <gasps> He's making a goddamn avalanche! I'm gonna get out of here now. Yeah. 
Oh, that was a close one. With the magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. Bell just flew. Wait, what's that mean? I thought I was looking like mad. The dragon's coming, isn't he? He blew up on the entire wall. In that oh my split God. second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Because I'll shoot him in the. I can either shoot him in the eye. I can either wait, break his chain, or I can make him go for food. Well, it looks like he was just trying to get out, so I'm gonna break his chain. I'm gonna let the guy free. Cause it looks like he just wanted to get out of the cave. So maybe he's just like trying to grab and yell for food because he wants to get out of the cave. Yay, he's smiling at me. I think I made the right choice. I think I might have made the right choice. I let him free. Could barely it's in, a, it's the, in the magic mirror. And with the last of my strength, I climbed the hell out the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free? Even though he was trying to eat you. I don't know. Free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, oh, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home, but only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends hey. where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Hey. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Yep, okay. No was. A girl named Gwendolyn's probably going into a room now. I don't know. Yep, you're going into this mysterious room, and there's a window. What the heck is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone's coming through that door. Or oh, something is. Or oh, maybe it's just a massive blow of wind. Wait, wait, wait. Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm yeah. glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. Okay. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. 
Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather right? is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, okay. we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. Oh. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Oh, she's gonna face the right, right off against him. No, it looks like. It looks like her grandpa is. It looks like Gwendolyn. Grandpa is just literally standing How in the hat. Gwendolyn, you can set those on the nightstand. So I think the character we're playing as is like a very old version of him. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's got you're worried about, yeah, it's your father. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Treating my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Okay. <laughs> well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Okay, Let's yeah. rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Ah, oh, he's really cute. Oh. He's really cute. Wait, wait, oh. What the? What the? Ah, oh, he's falling off the goddamn cliff. He's falling. Ah, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, god damn it. Ow, 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 that put all oh, that's gonna have to stick. <laughs> falling for a crap to the bushes. I'm falling still. Tree. I fell. After oh, gracefully yeah, rappelling down. down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Welcome. Well, 